A straddle kinetic stretch is a great way to start to prime some of the tissues if you wanna work on your adductors and inner hamstrings or if you're working towards the middle split or just to get used to this position and start to connect with your tissues in this position. There's gonna be a couple different options. So if you are not comfortable sitting in a straddle here, you can use a foam wedge like so, which primes your pelvis to be in a little better position to get into a little bit more anterior pelvic tilt to get the movement that we want. If you don't have a wedge or this is not high enough, you can elevate your butt on one or even two yoga blocks to sit up higher so that we don't have any of the pinching in the tops in the front of our hips in that groin area that's closing angle symptoms. We don't wanna be feeling that. If you still are sitting high and you still feel some of that, go a little bit closer. So wider is gonna be harder, closer is gonna be a little bit easier. And then that is your other option. So from there, if you still have pinching, this is going to be not a great exercise for you and you're gonna to wanna to defer it at this time. From there, you're going to start in what's comfortable for you. I like to use the wedge here. Then we are going to go as wide as we can with our hips in a comfortable position so we feel some stretching here. Now, a kinetic stretch is going to be actively using your tissues to pull you into a stretch and then using what is being stretched to pull you out of the stretch to the start position. So what we are thinking about is as we are coming forward, actively kind of thinking about trying to lift our legs up, which is not gonna happen, right? Our legs are glued. <laughs> Even if we didn't want them to be glued, they're kind of stuck here. So that's going to pull us forward. We're gonna reach long. We're not bending at our spines. We are staying long. We are thinking about our, our butt cheeks reaching for the back wall. You're gonna reach to that end range of motion. Take the entire amount of time to get there. Typically it's over five seconds. Then you're gonna pause. Then we are going to feel the stretching in our hamstrings, in our adductors, in our thighs. At that position, we are going to use those muscles, drive our feet into the ground, find our hamstrings and our butt muscles, pull ourselves back to the start position. You'll notice this is very different than if you were to just lean forward and sit back up, right? I want you to pull yourself forward, pause, squeeze, pull yourself back up. So once more, we are using these muscles in the front of our hips to pull ourselves forward over five seconds, feeling that deep stretch here, only to what we can tolerate. Please don't push into a nine or 10 out of 10 stretch. Then pausing, finding those tissues that are being stretched, driving our feet into the ground, squeezing our butt, pulling ourselves back to that start position. You can even feel yourself tuck your tailbone down as you lift back up to really get the most out of the exercise. You're gonna wanna do this for the prescribed amount of times, typically about five to 10 reps to really open these up. And then you can train what you're training after that. You'll notice that you're able to progress if you're able to lean a little bit more every single time as you're doing this on a consistent basis.